Hi, I'm Kelly, and I live in Montana, and I, I want to talk to you about monarch butterflies. Um, butterflies, we can learn from science, have listened, have existed for millions of years, uh, 175 million years, and um, one of the most popular or well-known butterflies is the monarch butterfly that migrates all over the North American continent from Mexico through the United States up to Canada and back again. And this pattern of migration is very special and unique. And <laughs> I don't think it's fully understood by scientists, but What's happening is that the monarch butterfly is at the brink of extinction. I just recently found out that on July 21st, which was a Thursday, 2022, 2022, the, uh, the monarch butterfly has been listed as an endangered species by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature and based on its dwindling numbers of its population um and this is very concerning i told my kids about it and my 10 year old daughter was particularly upset um, i have known about monarch butterflies my parents have been telling me about the milkweed that the monarch butterfly needs <coughs> to lay its eggs on and to out for the caterpillars to eat is the only plant that it'll eat is milkweed but I honestly didn't understand the urgency of what what's happening so I want to talk to you that <clears throat> the United States needs to do something to protect this species and by protecting this species we would also help other species of butterfly and honeybees bumblebees insects that that need those flowers with the pollen and the nectar for their their health and their survival. I wrote today to <coughs> the Fish and Wildlife Service um, for the United States Fish and Wildlife Service. I wrote a comment to them today and I'll link below the comment, the website where I went to make my um, my letter to them. So I, I would like for me to not be the only one writing. So I want all of you who are watching to write to our federal government um, and our representatives and the U.S. Start with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service because they're the one, they're the agency that has re declined to list the monarch butterfly as endangered. So I would like to see that corrected and have protections in place for um, this species uh, immediately. So um, I'm out here today and I'm gonna show where I am planning to put some milkweed. Um, I have this little area it's a, the road that goes back is an easement and I want to put it here so that I can hopefully help make an awareness and educate other people that this is actually a critical thing. Um, my thoughts about it are uh, the monarch butterfly or other butterflies are kind of a canary in the coal mine situation that this is the beginning of uh, many more species. Uh, who are going extinct or will be going extinct and I it just really is gonna really uh, make it difficult for my children and all future generations to survive if the ecosystems are not surviving so I'll talk more about uh, the butterflies and everything that I've learned in future videos I just wanted to show where I'm pl putting some milkweed. Um, I did clear this little area right down here. And some, a couple, I've watched a few videos and at least one of the videos I watched 
recommended putting some little some rocks for the seeds to get a little bit of a shade um, but it does need to be a sunny location so full sun um, mostly sunny location but I put rocks here because coincidentally uh, conveniently I have a little area over there that has more rocks I don't know if when they dug up the um, the hole for the telephone pole or for the road or something that had a bunch of a pile of rocks here and the species that I'm going to plant for milkweed is really important to understand what species is native in your area so I live in Montana and my mom helped me um, find out that the species